I got a question. Okay. If someone comes to you and asks you about a fitness program, where do you begin? Well, um, you begin with the goal. You ask them what their goal is. But um, the problem with that is that most people don't know what their goal is. They're not very specific. They're not clear about it. And, and they don't know the difference between goals. And of course, there are different, different kinds of training for different goals. So it does matter to choose a goal and to be realistic about it. So what I find is that most people are extremely unrealistic and ambiguous about what they want. Um, sometimes, especially in the case of guys, they say they want to be a power lifter. They want to bench press 400 pounds. They want to be ripped. They want to look like a bodybuilder. They want to be a boxer. They want to be a surfer. They want to be everything. All of those things require a different kind of training. Um, and so what I usually tell people is, look, um, there's so much time in the day. You probably have a life that requires employment, requires family, requires personal hobbies, whatever it is that you need to do. You cannot afford to spend all your time in the gym working on various goals, not to mention the fact that some of these goals are mutually exclusive. Like if you're trying to gain endurance, you lose power. If you try to gain power, you lose endurance. It's just the way it is. Um, when we talk about evaluating the efficiency of an exercise, um, if your goal is to lift the most amount of weight, you will define efficiency as using exercises that minimize the load on each muscle, which thereby allows you to lift a heavier weight. But if your goal is to build muscle, you would define efficiency as exercise that allow you to load the muscle the most with the least wasted effort. Those are drastically different goals, drastically different methods of achieving those goals. So it is important to be realistic and ask yourself, what is my goal and why is that my goal? And what I find is that most of us make the mistake of choosing a goal that we think will portray a, 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 an identity, an image of us that we want others to perceive. And I would start off by saying that's not important. What is important is feeling good, looking good, uh, and of course, time management, energy management, and all that stuff. Um, I'm not the person to say that one goal is better than another. Everyone has to decide that for themselves. Um, but I do encourage people to think about it and I may quiz them a little bit like, what do you want and why do you want it? Before we can actually start deciding on how many days a week and which exercises they should use. Fair enough. Thank you very much. My pleasure.